this week on the show, we have Trish Lepore, the founder of ABC Pilates. Hello and welcome. Thank you so much for watching. This show is all about giving you insights and showcasing brands that help you to live your best life and give you confidence. As always, I want to kickstart your morning with some motivational advice to help you to feel inspired and energized to start your day. Today, I want to talk about the importance of understanding that anything worth having takes time. The reality is we live in a society that promotes instant gratification, but the things that are truly worth achieving takes time, patience, dedication, and focus to achieve. If you look at any notable leader or celebrity, their success did not happen overnight. It took years of them working behind the scenes, taking small steps to make their goals a reality. The next time you feel frustrated or feel that your efforts in making your dreams happen aren't manifesting, remember that good things take time, and that every minute of work you put in is bringing you one step closer to your goal. Sometimes, rather than looking at how far we have to go, we have to look at how far we've come. As the saying goes, good things take time, great things take a bit longer. Stay tuned. Coming up after the break, we see a lot of celebrities like Jennifer Aniston, Miley Cyrus, just to name a few, using Pilates, um, and you see lean muscle on them. So how does Pilates help you with your core strength? Pilates is all about core strength. So when we talk in Pilates about core strength, we don't just talk about your abdominals. Mm -hmm. We're also in incorporate, incorporating your glutes, so your butt, mm -hmm. um, or as West Canadians like to say, derriere. Of course, we <laughs> be in that French side of things. Um, so we're incorporating not just your abdominals, your glutes, your inner thighs. We're getting into that inner part of your arms. We're looking at all of that. We're looking at part, certain parts of your back as well. So that's what we're talking about there. But we are also doing that through a wide variety of exercises that really delve into different parts of those muscles. So whether or not you're working on the obliques, which are the outer edges of your body, or whether or not you have a strap on your foot and you're working on a glute sequence, or you're standing up on the reformer, which we do quite often as well. So all of that ties together to make one pretty package. Wardrobe provided by H&M. Next up on the show, we have Trish Lepore, the co-founder of ABC Pilates. Trish, thank you so much for being on the show today. How are you doing? Very well, Darielle. How are you doing today? I am doing very, very well. It's a beautiful day. I'm excited to talk to you. You have a very interesting journey, so I want to get into it. I want to talk about, you know, before the success of ABC Pilates, let's talk about you. I know that you were in the National Ballet of Canada but you stopped at age 23 because of an injury. So, so tell us about that period in your life. Well, uh, crazy. Um, I mean, it was one of those passions that I had taking that time after the injury and so forth. Um, it was a time that I reflect on with a lot of, you know, it was one of those very, the end of a journey. So taking that time to kind of regroup and at that point in time, my grandmother took me back to church. I was very heavily involved in church, had gone to the youth group and the church that I belonged to in Brantford, Ontario, Canada. And after I was injured, my grandmother took me back, reacquainted with God. And from that, it was always Pilates, though. Pilates was always one of those parts of my life that always ensured that I stayed strong so that I was even able now to continue running half marathons. So I just finished my last half marathon recently. I finished on Sunday. Wow, congratulations. That's not an easy uh, venture to do. <laughs> I know that there's lots of training, <laughs> but obviously with you, I mean, with Pilates, you're, you're super fit, so. <laughs> Thank sure. you, yes, oh yeah. Well, it's the combination, like everybody says, it's not just Pilates, but to me, I do do strength conditioning as well, mm -hmm. along with my running training. Mm -hmm. So by merging all three of those together, you're able to stay in a more productive capacity and your body is able with the stretching element of Pilates, it's not just stretching, it's strength, conditioning. All of that integrates together really extremely well with everything that I do here at The One, which is where I'm starting up T1 Pilates. Mm, very nice, and in just a little bit, we're gonna be talking about the benefits of Pilates, but before that, I wanna talk about, you know, through your healing journey, I know that Pilates helped you to recover after various orthopedic surgeries. So let's talk about how Pilates helped you recover. Being able to get back to that treadmill or, you know, when, when it's not too cold outside, <laughs> to back to the treadmill or also just being out on the pavement. Um, it, 
you're able to strengthen the muscles surrounding where you're injured. Mm -hmm. So by me also having been doing Pilates for an extended period of time, you're conditioning those muscles overall in general. So when you come back from an injury, it's that much quicker because the muscles surrounding were already strengthened to that point where you can get back and work on getting those muscles that were in, actually affected by the surgeries themselves. So everything just comes together as a complete package and you're off to the races. Very nice. And I know what I love about ABC Pilates is the mind-body approach. I know that some of your clients see you know, not only their physical body improve, but their mental abilities improve as well, just after three classes. So let's talk about that approach for you guys. Well, with the mind-body connection, it's always making them more aware of where they are when they're with us. So in a session, what happens is we're continually reminding them through the words as to what we want them to do. So by using our words, by cueing them, in essence, you're continually bringing them back in and thinking about what they're doing because there's so much going on in Pilates. Like I'll, I'll joke with my clients and say, so I want you to think about engaging your abdominals. I want you to really zip up those inner thighs. I want you to open that space between your lowest rib and the top of your hips. Now, same time, I want you to think about breathing and then pat your head and rub your belly. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, so it makes them it's more present. <laughs> So, but the cueing actually helps with that overall connection. Yeah, and Trisha, I want to talk about the benefits of Pilates. Is it for anyone? Because one thing I like to see is in your classes, I see there's people of all ages. So it's, it's pretty diverse. So let's talk about some of the benefits. Well, so depending on whatever age you are. So when somebody comes to us, generally eight times out of 10, you're looking at somebody who's coming back from an injury, whether it be a back surgery, whether it be a hip replacement, whether it be a shoulder rotator cuff, anything like that. So you'll see that those people, they could be all ages. Like we have right now in Naples, a 19 year old tennis player who is coming back from ACL surgery. We have an older individual who is actually also at that point where he has had three back fusions and two hip replacements, just new to Pilates as well. So you can see that covers that whole range from a 19 year old to a 75 year old. But I've also worked with figure skaters who are six, seven, eight years old, because again, you have to think about how that correlates on the ice. She wasn't even injured. Um, you know, but it's all overall, you've got whether or not you have an injury or you're thinking about avoiding the potential for injury, it all comes into play. Yeah, that's actually very interesting because I never thought that Pilates would help you recover from an injury because I would think that it's so difficult. So I think that's a big misconception most people have. So just, just to talk about that a little bit, how does Pilates help you to prevent injury or recover from an injury? So to prevent injury, what happens is you're conditioning the body in general. So whether or not I have an elite athlete, for example, Olympic athletes I've trained or professional football players or professional hockey players, you know, the range goes on. Coming from Brantford, Ontario, we tend to have a few hockey players in town. Um, you know, you look at what the individual is doing, what sport they're playing. So I always look at what their daily life looks like first. So if they're coming in and they're prehabilitating, which means they don't have any injuries right now, I look at what they generally do in the sport that they're playing and take that and correlate that with the exercises I'm customizing, meaning the program I've customized to them, and looking at the exercises that they're doing in their session with me. So that way we're continually focusing on what they're looking to achieve so that they don't get injured. Mm -hmm. So for those that are coming back from an injury, I'm working on those muscles surrounding where they've had a surgery mm -hmm. or where they've had a herniated disc, that sort of thing. Oh, um, for an example, back when in December, one of my favorite clients, he's fantastic. He cracks me up every day. <laughs> Um, he had a herniated disc that happened in tennis. Mm -hmm. So when he was playing tennis, he went in for a drop shot, ended up slipping, fell and herniated a disc in his lower back. Wow. Well, he had neuropathy. So I was like, okay, so this isn't just a matter of you herniating a disc. I also treated through fascial massage and ended up relieving a lot of the neuropathy. So he got feeling back in his right foot. Wow. Yeah. That's so that just tells you what tells you what we do overall 
Yeah, I love that. I think that's really important for our viewers to know is that, you know, it also helps with injuries and, you know, uh, strengthen the muscle around it. So I think that's that's very interesting. It's not something that I knew. And, you know, we see a lot of celebrities like Jennifer Aniston, Miley Cyrus, just to name a few, using Pilates. Um, and you see lean muscle on them. So how does Pilates help you with your core strength? Pilates is all about core strength. So when we talk in Pilates about core strength, we don't just talk about your abdominals. Mm -hmm. We're also in incorporate, incorporating your glutes, so your butt, mm -hmm. um, or as West Canadians like to say, derriere, of course, we <laughs> in that French side of things. Um, so we're incorporating not just your abdominals, your glutes, your inner thighs. We're getting into that inner part of your arms. We're looking at all of that. We're looking at part, certain parts of your back as well. So that's what we're talking about there. But we are also doing that through a wide variety of exercises that really delve into different parts of those muscles. So whether or not you're working on the obliques, which are the outer edges of your body, or whether or not you have a strap on your foot and you're working on a glute sequence, or you're standing up on the reformer, which we do quite often as well. So all of that ties together to make one pretty package. Very nice. And let's talk about the different sessions that you guys have. I know you have single, trio. Uh, so let's talk about that. And I like the single um, option because I think that when you're first starting, you might be a little bit shy to do the moves and to, you know, you know, just to test it out. So let's talk about the different sessions that you offer. So definitely with the private, we always look at incorporating exercises that focus on the individual. So we sit down for a session and walk through what injuries they may have, what sports they might play what their daily life looks like. How much do you sit at a desk? How much do you stand up and walk around? All of that comes into play. So when you have two friends or three friends that are in together, you're looking at all of them overall. So I always tell everybody it's, you know, yes, privates are good for the beginning, but they're always good to continue on so that you're continuing to grow as an individual. Pilates is one of those things that it's always about the worst thing I had to get into my mind when I started Pilates is it's not a, it's not perfection, it's practice. So it's always about you continuing to grow. And if you have a fantastic instructor, what we are doing is we're actually moving the exercise to make them harder as you get stronger and stronger and stronger. And you can actually, I don't know if you can actually see in the shot here, but here we actually do also have TRXs, which we can utilize and actually teach Pilates and through a suspension method which was actually created by Rebecca Beckler, who is a fantastic instructor overall. She's also one of Stott's uh, teacher trainers. She's amazing. Um, it's something that she devised. The TRX actually was created by a Navy SEAL for their training, so it tells you how intense, intense that is. But that's also something that I incorporate in sessions. So you can do a lot of what you do on the reformer also on the TRX. Very nice. And walk us through a session with ABC Pilates. Uh, what machines do you use? We use Adelaide, you, everything. So we in ABC Pilates, we have the reformers. We have a Cadillac, which is what Joseph Pilates created as his first piece. Mm -hmm. We have the, the chair, which he called the Vanda chair. Uh, and we also have ladder barrels as well as regular barrels, whether it be a spine corrector, whether it be an arc barrel. Uh, we also look at the short box, doing a variety of things on there. So we actually integrate every element of apparatus that we have in the studio. Very nice. And I know you guys have the Naples uh, location as well as now the T1 Pilates location. So let's talk about these different locations you have. And congratulations, by the way. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. I mean, I couldn't have done that without Brian and Shane, who are the owners here at T1, uh, uh, the One Fitness, which is why we called it T1 Pilates. Uh, so... The ABC Pilates is all about Naples, obviously. It really does focus well on the location. We're centrally located right there at the Alexander Plaza, which is a fantastic Italian restaurant. If you ever get down to Naples, I'll have to make sure you get over there. Um, and so we've got a great location there, right central Naples. And it's a very small boutique setting, whereas here at the one, at T1 Pilates, it's pretty much a full service gym. So there's everything oh, nice. here. We have treadmills, you have the ski machines, you have uh, rowers, rowing machines, you have, I mean, really you have everything. It's it, it's so much here. It's, in, it's a 9,000 square foot space. Wow. It's fantastic location, not far from OSU. It's, it's wonderful. It's a great location. And it's very, they kept it very aesthetically pleasing. Mm -hmm. I love the colors. It's a lot of black, white, and very blonde wood. 
it, it's gorgeous. They did a great job. And what's been the most rewarding part of opening up ABC Pilates? Because I can tell this is not just a business for you. This is something you're truly passionate about. So, so tell us the most rewarding thing for you. I am that big perfectionist. So, so for, for me, it was always looking at growing, whether it had been, you know, my first job was up at, when I started teaching, I worked at a place called Apogee in Bedford Hills in New York. And then I went from there, went on to Chelsea Pierce, Connecticut, which is part of obviously Chelsea Pierce, New York. Mm -hmm. uh, fantastic space. I had an amazing boss there, Kathy Salvo, and she promoted me on to master instructor there. And really seeing what Pilates did for athletes, again, as well as older individuals with injuries and so forth, seeing how that really helped both sides inspired me so much so that I always, from that point forward, looked at opening, having my own studio. Mm -hmm. So by acquiring ABC, when I did have ABC Pilates, when I opened ABC Pilates rather, as myself as the owner, I really wanted to bring in so much more because being an owner yourself, you can really look at the talent you're bringing in, mm -hmm. but also continually monitor what's happening in the studio space. Mm -hmm. And as a female's own business, you know, what advice would you have for someone that wants to open up their own business, but is afraid to take that leap? Because it's not an easy thing to be an entrepreneur, let alone open your own franchises and businesses. So what's been some of the highlights for you, as well as some of the failures you've had, just, in, just to inspire someone that might um, want to get into this industry? Well, let me start with this. So as women, we are very intuitive as to, you know, what is going on. You know, you look at what yourself as an individual, what you can do, what you can achieve. Mm -hmm. So not limiting, to, not limiting yourself, not looking at so much what you can bring to the table in your relationship, but what you can bring to the table to yourself. Mm -hmm. So always thinking about who you are and really striving for more never settle mm -hmm. always look at hey this is what i want in my life and going for it don't yeah. let anybody else hold you back mm -hmm. that's what you have to remember no matter what anybody says to you no matter what negative thoughts they put in your mind block them out mm -hmm. it's all about you and staying true to who you are and in your inner being yeah and for me overall the hardest part obviously is <laughs> you know I always want to be the best. So when I see instructors that I have not being the best or to their fullest potential, I'm always that one that I guess I get a little nitpicky. Yeah. <laughs> so I go over and I correct. So it's always trying to take that step back and realizing, hey, let's not address that right now. Let's table that for later. Mm -hmm. But there are times, obviously, when you think about safety wise, where I step in and I'm like, you know, let me help you here because mm -hmm. you just want to go and bring it to the table and really make sure that they are the best of who they are overall. Mm -hmm. The worst part is again, finding instructors who are very high quality instructors and who are actually going to attain that level of teaching that I'm looking for. Mm -hmm. And I want to talk about some of the feedback you guys have from your clients, because it looks like you guys have a very strong clientele. Yes, we, I mean, we're very blessed that way. The biggest feedback that I always have is myself as an instructor, I, because of who I am and what I bring to the table myself, I always have a lot of clients who are very apprehensive that when I'm not down in Naples, looking at having them with another instructor, mm -hmm. and they're like, but they aren't you. And mm -hmm. I understand that, but I always try to make sure that my instructors know that, you know, you can come to me for anything. If there's something that you aren't certain of, let me help you so that you are, uh, you're fully aware of what you can do and how you can make it better. What, what exercises that you can do, how you can change it overall. And that's, I mean, that's the biggest part. But I have a lot of clients who always tell me that I've helped them relieve neck pain or by doing certain things that they can feel their abdominals more. That's what I want. I never want anybody walking out of a session not feeling like they've accomplished something. Never feeling like, oh my goodness, I don't feel my abdominals. Yeah, that's, an, <laughs> that's a no-no for me. If you walk out not feeling your abdominals, I haven't done my job. So <laughs> literally, I always walk out of there and I make sure my clients feel their abdominals. 
<laughs> yeah, I, I can tell. I think you kicked their butt during a session with you. You're definitely going to feel your abdominals. I can, I can just Thank tell. You. Yes. <laughs> I, I mean, I work hard. I, I very, I'm very proud of my abdominals, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I can imagine. <laughs> and for our viewers <laughs> that want to know more about ABC Pilates and join some of your classes, where can they do so? They can definitely do that both through booking online through our website, which is naplesabcpilates.com. Or always give me a call on 239-662-0837. That's another way they can do that. Another way, if they're down in Naples, stop on by our location at 4077 Tim Miami Trail North and come on in and definitely we'll get you all set up. Very nice. And Trish, I do want to come to a session with you, so I'm going to hold you to that. <laughs> you, know, you know you can count on that one. <laughs> Trish, thank you so much for being on the show today. Congratulations on opening your second location and keep up the amazing work. Oh, thank you, Darion. Thank you so much for having me today. I really appreciate it. Tag TV is available on Roku, Amazon Fire TV, Apple and Android TVs, as well as on Apple and Android phones. Watch us live to YouTube and Facebook.